Hello there. Yesterday you might have heard that Christopher Luxon has ruled out working with Te Pāti Māori if it comes to a coalition, which is an interesting political strategy. Interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, there's his announcement here, which says very clearly, if you want to vote for a right-leaning government, you vote for national. That's a very strong, clear message. What's not so great about the messaging is the whole we believe in one vote, one person, and it's... Well, there's three things wrong with that. First of all, it's a racist dog whistle, if ever there was one, because everybody, no matter if they're in the general electorate role or the Māori electorate role, has two votes. You vote for your electorate MP to represent your area, and you vote for the party that you want to put into Parliament to basically control how government works for the next few years. Two votes, not one. And nobody on either role gets special Māori votes or has special Māori money that they could donate to anything. It's, it's nonsensical. But also, does this mean that Luxon is finally coming out and saying we need to get rid of that clause in local government elections that allow people who have property inside a region they don't live in to be able to cast special votes in that area? Because I'm totally down for that. I actually agree with that policy. On top of that, it's a really strange strategy to go into an election where the last number of polls that we've had over the last couple of months have all said the same thing. Te Pāti Māori is likely to be the kingmaker come election time. And don't get me wrong, there are certainly a lot of what going to happen now kind of things. Like we haven't had any polls since the defection of Mecca Whaitari in last week. So we don't know how people are thinking or feeling about that. And it could have an effect on the outcome. But at the moment... It's looking like they're going to be the kingmakers. And if you put a line in the sand and say, we are definitely not going to talk to them or work with them, you're kind of painting yourself into a corner, which, as I said, is a really odd election strategy to take. And I really wish you'd do it with other parties, like New Conservatives or New the Umbrella Party or whatever the hell they call themselves. Just rule them out now so people know not to vote for them. It's going to be such a long few months. <laughs>